Recently, I played through Deathloop with the help of some friends to keep me alive. The following is a completely accurate summary of the campaign. Trust me. The game begins with a normal, healthy relationship with us pinned down by a woman with a machete who punches us and then stabs us in the face repeatedly, and we die. And that's the end of the game. Recently, I played through Deathloop with the help of some friends to keep me alive. The following is a completely accurate summary of the campaign. Trust me. The game begins with us waking up hungover on a beach. The main character gets up and immediately won't stop talking because the writers decided they wanted to make a character that everyone would get annoyed with within five minutes of playing. We throw up because that's definitely something I wanted to see and start hallucinating floating text, which we act like is totally out of the ordinary, but that's totally normal, right? Do I need to see a doctor? The words ask us who we are and we reveal our name as Son of a Fuck, which is a little weird, but who am I to judge? I share a last name with Pokemon. We open a door and descend some stairs to another door, but honestly, I'd walk through a hallway made up exclusively of hundreds of thousands of doors as long as I'm the one that gets to open them. We pick up a floppy disk with double jump and get a pop-up tutorial on how to use it, and then pick up a Hackamajig, which is the name they actually gave it in-game because some writer was given 10 seconds to come up with something quirky or they'd be shot in the head. There's a pop-up tutorial for that, too. We use the hack -a jig to open the door and the text inside our head leads us to a code locked door, so we try the arcane code and the game thanks us for trying but doesn't let us in. So we do the next best thing, crawl through a sewer... cave... thing, and fail to do basic parkour because the controls in this game are a little clunky. Or I'm stupid. Take your pick. The psycho chick with a knife speaks up on the radio and tells everyone what we're going to be doing, which, I mean, come on, spoilers. We pick up a large knife and get a pop-up tutorial about how to stab someone with it, and yes, I'm specifically calling a hatchet a large knife to get a rise out of someone who cares. Maybe I shouldn't try to piss off people who know a lot about knives. We murder a guy taking a piss because we believe public urination should be punishable by death, and run across a cliffside with a voice in our head orgasms or something. We get another pop-up tutorial that I'm straight up not paying attention to anymore because these things are getting on my nerves. Stop abruptly interrupting gameplay with a tutorial, game. Teach me how to use it unobtrusively. We stealth some enemies, and Psycho Killer calls us on the radio and asks us if we remember who we are. But we don't, so she threatens to repeatedly murder us because these two are in a very healthy relationship. Psycho Killer tells us not to pull a lever, so we do it specifically out of spite, and she telekinetically bitch slaps us to the roof where she berates us for being boring and then slaps us to the ground. So we decide the next sane course of action is to jump out of the window, because the text in our head told us to. After we jump, we're caught by ourselves, who gives us exactly one useful piece of information and then drops us like an inconsiderate dick, just because he got his head blown off by a shotgun. The nerve of some people, man. Then we hit the ground and die, and that's the end of the game. Recently, I played through Deathloop with the help of some friends to keep me alive. The following is a completely accurate summary of the campaign. Trust me. The game begins with us waking up hungover on a beach. We immediately begin screaming and bitching about us dropping us off a cliff before deciding to follow up on the one single useful piece of information we gave ourselves. We pick up the hack -a jig and get the code from the back of the postcard wedged into it, and then hack open the door to the hall to get to the code door and open that too. We take some stairs and get a magic grenade that interrupts us with another pop-up tutorial, God damn it! and we pick up a slab so we can return it so we don't get cursed, because I sure don't want to get visited by three plagues that are each worse than the last. And then we get another pop-up tutorial! I have been playing for 15 minutes, can you stop? Psycho Killer lets us know that they're watching us fat via radio waves, and literally in the middle of her talking we get interrupted with a pop-up tutorial. Do you see why these are so fucking annoying? Let me figure out how to play the goddamn game on my own. God, I want to go play some more Elden Ring. We murder our way to- God fucking damn it, I am literally in the middle of an execution, are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> we murder our way to- why? Why me? What did I do to deserve this? Not just one pop-up, two pop-ups. This information could have easily been communicated through a little bit of text on the left side of the screen. Or a basic fucking understanding of shooting games. Jesus Christ, this is taking up more time than the actual plot. After parkouring through a window, we snoop on someone's PC. Wait, what the fuck is going on with this keyboard? We go through a lengthy animation of us picking up a picture of someone and looking at it while we're getting shot at, because that's only a minor inconvenience. Whoever gets disrupted by a gunshot. Not Franklin D. Roosevelt. We find out that the loop is run at a central control room, so we head off and... Just calm down. Don't need to mention it every time. The people watching are getting tired of this bit. I'm getting tired of the pop-ups. We kill everyone in the area for shits and giggles and oh my god. We learn to hold two guns at once, so we head inside a building and oh my god. Kill everyone inside to vent our frustration. We end up getting killed, but that's okay because I've got on a I know game. You already told me about this. That's okay because we've got a thing on that lets us die once or twice without actually being dead dead. We fire into a crowd of random people and my gun jams. Oh, good. Everyone's favorite mechanic. Random gun jamming. What, no pop-up tutorial for this mechanic? We run to the level exit and input the code, and then walk to a bunker where the game crashes. And that's the end of the game. Not long ago, I played through Deathloop with the aid of some cohorts to keep me living. The ensuing is an entirely precise synopsis of the story. Believe me. 
The game starts with a standard healthy interconnection with us held down by a lady with a machete who strikes us and knifes us in the face again and again, and we expire. And that's the finale of the game. Laterally, I took part in Deathloop with the assistance of some companions to keep me in working order. The succeeding is a fully error-free rundown of the narrative, I assure you. The game commences with us arising inebriated on a shore. The hero gets up and instantly won't stop ranting because the writers decided they wanted to make a character that people would get frustrated with within four minutes of starting. We barf because that's absolutely something I wanted to witness, and start visualizing hovering text, which we pretend is out of the norm, but that's definitely a regular thing, right? Do I need to visit a specialist? The words ask us to identify ourselves, and we explain our name as son of a fuck. Which is somewhat peculiar, but who am I to criticize? I share our last name with a Pokemon. We enter a door and go down some stairs to another door, but genuinely, I'd go through a hallway made up entirely of millions of doors as long as I'm the one that gets to choose when they open. We acquire an SD card, which lets us jump a second time and get a pop-up instructional on how to use it, and then pick up a Hackamajig, which is the name they actually gave it in-game because some writer was given five seconds to come up with something quirky or they'd shoot their family right in front of them. There's a pop-up instructional for that as well. We activate the Hackamajig to go through the door, and the text within our mind guides us to a door with a code lock. So we try the arcane code, and the game calls us stupid, and we wallow in self-pity. So we do the only other option. Scour through a sewer... hole... thing, and do some basic parkour with absolutely no problems whatsoever. The loony gal with a blade calls us up on the walkie-talkie and lets everyone know what we're trying to do, which is just rude. We pick up a small sword and get a pop-up instructional on how to kill someone with it, and yes, I'm specifically calling a hatchet a small sword to annoy anyone who cares. Maybe I shouldn't try to anger people who know a lot about swords. We hug a guy taking a leak because we don't have any concept of personal space, and walk over a cliff face while the voice in our head agrees to all the terms and conditions without reading them. We get another pop-up instructional that I'm not reading anymore because these things are making me angry. Stop randomly halting gameplay with an instructional game. Teach me how to use it out of the way. We hug some enemies and Looney Gal calls us on the walkie-talkie and asks us if we remember who we are, but we don't, so she warns us that she's going to repeatedly murder us because these two must have been lovers in a former life. Looney Gal tells us not to activate a switch, so we do it accidentally and she force pulls us to the top of the building, where she lets us know that we're lame-ass bitches and then drops us. So we decide the only option is to defenestrate ourselves because the text in our mind wanted us to. After defenestrating, we're grabbed by ourselves, who tells us precisely one useful thing and then lets us go because we could never be lovers. self cest is weird. Then we splatter across the pavement and die, and that's the finale of the game. I recently played Deathloop, and with the help of some friends, it saved my life. The full summary of the campaign is given below. Very well. I starved to death on the beach after the accident. We made a plan and left the house. Please read the helpful information you provided before you decide. We visited Hakamajiga and lay on the back of the attached postcard. Open the street door to unlock the code door. We let the next evil bomb appear without doing anything. Then we return the disc so that the curse does not touch, because I didn't want to know about three disasters worse than the first. So let's fix it again, I hope. I played 15 minutes, can you wait? The psycho killer told us he was watching us and drowned in the radio waves, and we completely interrupted the lessons that appeared between the conversations. Do you know why they have their own mix? Let's see how to play the goddamn alone! God wants to drop a fire to play more. We are killing our way. God, surely I am close to death. Do you laugh at me? <sighs> We're committing suicide. Why? Why me? I made it sense. It's not just a pop-up window. Two letters. You can easily navigate this information in lowercase letters on the left side of the screen. Or the basics of archery. Jesus Christ, beyond the real works. Remove from the parking lot and turn on the computer. Can you imagine what to do with this keyboard? We go through a long animation that allows you to see a photo of someone and then see them walking. Because it's a bit confusing. Who was burned? Not Franklin D. Roosevelt. We noticed that the loop worked in the central control room, so we started using it. Ah, take it easy. You do not have to say that all the time. People are watching. I live in pop-ups! Kill someone like a duck. Oh. We learn to hold two guns at the same time, and then we go inside. Oh, oh my gosh! Kill everyone inside to get rid of us. It killed us, but not so well because we found one. I know training! You told me that! Well, we die from time to time, so we're not really dead. We shot a group of people, and my gun sank. Well, everyone's favorite master. Rifle accidentally jammed. What is this? Don't they have those art classes? We ran to the exit, entered the code, and went to the bank where the game stopped. It's the end of the game. Mercy. Special thanks to the users who support the brand. If you want to advertise the bridge, you can find your last name at the end of the video I posted this month. What the fuck is going on? Please read the helpful information you provided. <laughs> Please read the helpful <laughs> shit. <laughs> the psycho killer told us he was watching us and drown in the radio waves. <laughs> God wants to drop a... <sighs>
we're committing suicide. <laughs> People are watching.